going to eat in this pot with me and take it. I'm going to watch them very quick. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my son with me. Okay. I have my son with me. Well, he refused to take a nap and I'm really hungry. So I just decided to include him in the video. Yeah. So yeah. Fine. So today I am eating in my pot. I'm not really going to eat all of this rice. This is a lot of rice. Well, yeah. I am eating in my pot mostly in an African home or in a Liberian home. When um, when you're done cooking or whoever that's done cooking, you take out all the soup. <laughs> you take out all the soup. You put it in the refrigerator or you put it to the side or you put it somewhere where everybody could um, be able to eat. And then you eat the... You either put rice in the pot or you put rice in the pot and like a bunch of people eat. And the thing is, when you're eating with like your older siblings and stuff like that, um, usually when you're done, when you're eating and you're done, you're full and you want to get up, you just, you most, sometimes you just go like, you just take your last hand and you like, mm. that mm means like, um, this is my last hand or this is my last spoon and I'll, I'm done, like I'm getting up. And like the last person that leaves in the pot, have to like wash the pot but when you're eating with your older siblings my sister when you're eating with your older siblings they don't like to wash the pot they don't like to be left in the pot because like they feel like it's the younger like person that has to wash the pot so if you're, when you're eating with them and you be like um when you're taking like your last hand and like mm, they'll be like what are you doing boy we gotta leave it by you who said like they'll be <laughs> <laughs> they just so even if you like fall, you have to stay there because you don't want to seem rude or you don't want to leave them in. The <coughs> you don't want to leave them in the pot. So today I'm eating with my pot. Thing I'm not eating with nobody, so I will just literally be eating this by myself. My son, when I put him up here, he's just gonna like go for meat and stuff. He's not really gonna eat, so I'm just I just have him eating his own stuff over there. And I'm going to be eating with my hand. If you really like see in my videos, I don't really eat with spoons because I don't really like eating with spoons. But yeah, why eat with spoon? God give me my mm, S P O O N. So yeah, <laughs> and I'm also going to be telling you guys a story. Hmm. I'm not really a professional when it comes to eating with my hand. He wanted chicken feet earlier, so let me just eat a mini my moment. Give him the smallest one. So I'm not really a professional at eating with my hand. So y'all don't make fun of me. So I'm having pump butter. Mm. Yeah. So I cooked this soup yesterday. And I took out all the soup and I was like, oh, I'm eating this pot tomorrow. And I just decided today to record this video to show you guys. It's either always me that eats in the pot, or sometimes my husband eats in the pot, or me and the kids. Yeah. I did. I don't really want to do too much talking because I'm hungry. I don't want to talk about. I just want to eat. So. Maybe I might tell you guys this story next time.
So I'm just gonna eat a little bit, get filled up a little bit, and then tell you guys the story. All the time, me and my friends put um the school trash can on fire. Then I will take when I'm eating with a spoon or with a fork, but now I'm getting full. Okay. He have a stuffy nose, guys, right, so. He refused to take a nap because we woke up late. We went to bed late and we woke up late, so now I'm here. Mm. So this happened in middle school. seventh grade and <laughs> who was some horrible kids I swear to God so that day it was like the it was like the third to the last day of school like this just say yeah it was like the third third day before wait it was like three more days before school closes okay so it was that day usually um I take the, I take the bus with my with um with my other friend because we I guess we live on this yeah I I take the bus with one of my other friends right so mo most of the time our bus will get to the school like less like five to ten minutes early because so we could be there when the school op when the door open the when the door is open so we could go downstairs to eat breakfast and all that other stuff. But that day, the bus came. The bus arrived to the school. You okay? The bus arrived to the school like 30, 30 to thirty five minutes early. So we was just sitting outside, like um. So everybody got off the bus. Like instead of him just keeping us on the bus and like oh and waiting and saying oh we I'll just wait with you guys until. The door is open, so you guys are not just like out on the street. When we wasn't really on the street, the school have like a really big like space that we will still be. We'll be like on the school properly property, but we won't be on the street. So we was hanging out over there. Was like on the sidewalks in front of the school in front of the buildings and stuff and that day it had it rained like the night before well it rained that night so we was at the park it was me and my two other friends it was like always the three of us and we had excuse me we had like another girl that's always with us but she is not she's not always with us because 
she was the she was my other friend's friend. So we we didn't really hang out with her too much. We always we hung out with her like when the other girl brings her around. Yeah. So it's just the three of us, the three main we call ourselves like the African clique. Because it was all Liberian. And let me see, how did I meet them? I don't know how I met the other girl. But the one that I call my little sister, I don't want to call their names. I, I don't want to call their names so that, but I didn't ask them if I could call their names in this video, so I'm not going to call their names. But the other girl, the one that I call my little sister, I met her when she first moved to Rhode Island from, I think she was in Georgia or something. And she moved there, and I was like, I was like, um... She had like let's say like three classes with me and I had to like show her around the school and stuff like that. So doing that we became really close. And I just started calling her my little sister because I think I was I believe I'm like two to three years older than her, but I just started calling her my little sister and she started calling me her big sister. And we just clicked like that. And then we have this other chick. That we was always hanging out with. So was it like always the three of us? We was like always together. Like lunchtime, the walking down the halls. I had my with well, my little sister, I had all my classes with her. I think I stuff for like one of them. And the other girl, we only had like we only I think we only had like two classes with her. And we always had lunch with her. So we always had lunch together. We always like after school, me and the other girl, we take the bus together. And yeah, we hang out after school, we hang out during school, and we were just like the closest friends. So that day when we got to the school, we was like hanging out all like usual, we went to the park, we went to the store, because it was like the doors like let's just say the doors open at 8 30. We was there to like we was there at 8 o'clock. So we was like Boy, we didn't have anything to do. And the other girl, she smokes. She smokes. We, the, me and the other girl, we don't smoke. So she smoked and she had a lighter. So I was like, she brought out the lighter and she was like, oh, look at what I have. And I was like, why do you have a lighter? And she was like, oh, I don't know. I think I just left it in my pocket or something. So when we went to the park, we went to, yeah, we went to the school's park. And there was like guys playing basketball on the other side. And we was like on the other side. And we was just there. We were just like hanging out. And then I don't know if it was me or if it was her who said that. Um, Cause we looked in the trash can and it was wet, right? We looked in the trash can and it was wet because obviously it was raining the night before. So she picked up a leaf and was just standing there, like just hanging out talking. And she picked up the leaf. I, I don't know if it was her who picked up the leaves or if it was me who picked up the leaves. But she one of us picked up the leaves. A leaf. A, like yeah. It was either the, a leaf or a paper. And she was like, oh let me let me try to light this. Or I one of us the person was like, oh let me try to light this to see if it was light since this the thing was the thing was wet. So the person lit the thing and I don't know, I think it it caught on fire. It caught on fire, and then she threw it back in the in the trash can, and cause everything else in there was wet, so the thing went off. So I guess we we made that into like a game or something. We started lighting mad shit. We started lighting newspapers, leaves, like candy, um, candy. What you call it? Candy wrappers and stuff. We just started like and mash it. We just kept throwing it in the trash can. And then we walked away. And when we turned around, the trash can was on fire. Like, I'm telling you, like, no, it was not, it wasn't on fire, fire, like, blazing heat. Blazing fire. Yeah, blazing heat. But there was, like, smoke coming out of the, um, of the trash can. And dumbasses. Like we were, we were like so stupid. We started throwing more stuff in the trash can, thinking like, cause everything else was wet. 
We thought if we put more stuff in the trash can, like the trash, the the um whatever fire that was making that was creating the smoke would go off. So we started throwing my stuff in there, and that was the moment the doors opened. So when the doors opened, the principal came, and while we was putting stuff in the trash can, we was trying to put stuff in the trash to put out the fire. Mad kids started like coming around us, like trying to like see what was going on, where the smoke was coming from. So you lost your chicken feet. Oh my son's nose. Sorry. Hold on, guys. Okay. So mad kids started coming around and seeing where the smoke was. So when they opened the doors, um, it was the principal that opened the door. So he opened the door and I guess somebody told him, oh, there's a fire in the, in the freaking park. And he came and he like poked his head out and he seen like those like mad kids. I don't know. Nobody told him that there was fire. He poked his head out of out the door to see because there was like a lot of kids just like in a circle. So he thought there was like a fight or something. So... Mm. So I'm So he started walking towards us, right? Okay. Mm. Ooh, he started walking towards us and then he realized that and then he's seeing the smoke. And then he yelled, he was like, hey! Everybody started running. We all started running. <clears throat> Me and the other girl, we, we ran to like the um, basketball field where the guys were playing. And we were trying to act like we was like, we just been there like looking at the, looking at them play or whatever. So he came, um, everybody ran. And then we, when we, when we ran over there, we just seen him walk to the trash can. He looked in the trash can. There was no fire. It was just smoke and stuff. So I guess he just poured some water in there, and it went off. So he started asking around, who set the fire? And then we was telling people, don't say it was us. Don't say it was us. Like we didn't do it. Like, don't say it was us because there wasn't no, there was nobody around when we was doing it. It was just the three of us. I think it was four of us. It was just the four of us. And, but, I guess people was looking at us from afar. Because, for some reason, everybody knew it was us. I don't know. <laughs> but nobody seen, I don't know. Well, I didn't think anybody saw us, like, putting the, the fire in the trash can. You okay? So, he's... You ready to take a nap? So when he started asking around, like who started the fire, who started the fire? You okay? Uh. Okay. So in the beginning, like when he started asking the first time, everybody was like, oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Because we knew most of the people, we knew like a lot of people. So we didn't really think anybody would snitch on us. So we wasn't really worried about that. So he came to us and he, and he came to me and my other friend because the other two girls, they ran somewhere else. Everybody just scattered. So he came to me and my uh, me and my other friend, my little sister, and he was like, oh, who started the fire? Who started the fire? And then the boys was like, oh, we don't know. And... What are you doing with this? I'm doing So, where was that? 
So the boys was like, oh, we don't know. And we, we told them too. The boys like, oh. Shit. We told them, oh, we just, we just been, we was over there, like, watching the, watching the guys play soccer, play basketball. So, he, he just left, he left us. But, some, oh my God, this kid. I saw my little sister almost fought this nigga because some one of the guys that we never got along with, I guess he saw us doing. And little fat ass kid, like oh my god, he was so annoying. He, we always got in like a fight. Not like a fight, like a fist fight, but we always got in like an argument because he's always in our business. So he went up to he went to his office. So when when the door when yeah the doors open, we went inside. We got breakfast and everything. Everything was cool. Everything was quiet. And then his bitch ass, he went to the to the principal's office and he was like, oh um, it was me and my other and my other friend. He he, he didn't say it was my little sister because I think he liked her a little bit, but he just didn't want to admit it. But. He said, oh, it was me and my other friend who set the fire. So we're walking to, like, our lockers and whatever. And he go, and we hear over the loudspeaker, oh, Eula and um, the other girl come to the office. So we went to the office. Yo, I was shitting bricks because I did not want them to call my mom. I didn't want them to call my parents at all because I know I was going to get in trouble. So, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't us that started the fight. It was my little sister who started the fire. And she didn't get in trouble. So, so I went to the office. And he, and he asked us, and we denied it. And then he was like, oh, I got you guys on camera. He didn't get, he didn't have us on camera. He was just saying that to get us to confess. And when he said, oh, I got you guys on camera, I guess our, we had like a facial expression, facial expression or something. And he was like, okay, I know it, it was you guys from your faces. So he called our parents. And we have, we didn't have, we had in school suspension, in school, how do you say this name? Suspension, suspect, how do you say this? I'll put the name on. We had in school suspect, oh, suspect, suspension. <laughs> yeah, we had um, that. And so we wasn't even, we wasn't allowed to go to our regular classes. We were just in the room doing mad work. We had like these cardboard um, things around us. We wasn't allowed to look at each other or the other kids. It was just, we ate lunch in there. We was there from morning all the way till three o'clock. And we got suspended. So, so, you see, I can say suspended, but I can't say sus suspension. Suspension. We got suspended for the rest of the school year. <laughs> it was already like three days, like before the end of the year. So why, why do all that extra stuff? So after school. <laughs> They called our parents and told our parents that um, we got suspended. So I didn't take the bus home because I did not want to get to the house before my parents or at the same time as my parents. So I was trying to waste time. So me and my other friend, we walked home. She wanted to walk me home because she wanted to see what my parents were going to do to me because... I was shitting bricks. I was like all, I think I cried when it was like, when my, um, when the principal was like, oh, we called your parents. I cried. I was like, 
I'm going to get my ass beat. I'm about to be in so much trouble. I'm going to be like stuck in the house the whole summer because I have never gotten suspended before. So I was so scared. So, um, we walked home. It was like, how far was it? It was like an hour walk. Ew. Mm-hmm. Ew. It was like an hour walk. But we turned it into like Ew. an hour. We turned it into like an hour and 30 minute walk because we was walking so slow. We didn't want to get, I, I didn't want to get home early. She didn't want to go home at all. So she was walking me home to see me get in trouble. So we walk home while well, I walk home. And she just go. And he did not want to eat my hair. I'm going to fall. So, when we got home, when I got home, my parents wasn't home. So, she was disappointed. <laughs> she was disappointed because she's like, oh, now I have to go home. Because I told her to leave. It was, I'll be in more trouble if I have friends over when I'm suspended. So, I told her to leave and she laughed. And I was upstairs when my parents came. When my mom came, she was like, you look. Get your butt downstairs. Oh, I got in so much trouble. She started yelling. Well, I didn't get. She didn't beat me, but she, I, she yelled and yelled and yelled and yelled and yelled and yelled and yelled. She yelled at me, and then my dad came and he yelled at me. Woo! I have never gotten that much cussing in one day. But anyways, I wasn't allowed to go outside. I wasn't allowed to leave my room until the last day of school. But it actually worked in my favor because I had a boyfriend. And <laughs> so my mom, when everybody leaves, everybody leaves the house, my dad works night shift. So he... Was he working that gym? No. The the first night, the first day was his day off. So I wasn't allowed to go outside. I wasn't allowed to leave my room unless to come downstairs to get food. And he, when he is home, so everybody was out. All my brothers and sisters they went to school. My mom went to work. So basically it was just him and I home. But when he is home, he don't come upstairs at all. He he don't like climbing. He don't yeah. He don't like climbing the stairs to come upstairs and do anything. He don't he. I don't. I think the whole who was living in that house for at least like four to five years. And I could say he came. He walked up those stairs at least four or five times because he don't like coming upstairs. So if he don't have a reason to come upstairs. He you know, usually just stay downstairs and yell our name and then we'll come downstairs. His bedroom was downstairs. His bathroom was downstairs. So he didn't really have a reason to come upstairs. It was always my mom that was always coming upstairs to like wake us up and stuff like that. But, and to like check on us and whatever. So he never had a reason to come upstairs. So when I got suspended, it was just me upstairs. So my boyfriend, <laughs> he skipped school and he came to our house and he came upstairs. And we was upstairs the whole time. We didn't have sex or anything. We didn't do anything. We just, obviously, we kissed, but we just took a lot of naps. I'm not joking. We took at least like two naps. We we watched movies because I had a TV in my room. We watched movies. We made out. We ate. And that was basically it. We didn't really do anything. But the crazy thing is my dad didn't know a damn thing because... I think that was like the best suspended sus suspension of all times. So, he will, he will, so for that last three days of school, he'll come upstairs. He'll be in my room 
the whole time. And then he would leave right at like 2 o'clock or something. Or 3 o'clock because, no, yeah, 3 o'clock because that's when his school is up also. That's when school is over. And that's also the time like my mom will start coming from work. So he'll come, he'll leave the house around 3 o'clock and go home and act like he was at school. But it was like both of us were suspended together. So yeah, there was some time. I put my school, well, the school part fire, um, trash can on fire. And I got suspended the last day of school. So, yeah. Now that I'm going to talk, I can't eat. Ready to take a nap? Yeah. Yeah? Ew! Mm. I'm either going to go study to the nap with okay <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye say bye 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 <laughs>